Okay, everybody, here's the next part, in which this time around we're going to be playing some uh, Jeopardy for the SNES. See if I can find the, uh... Oh, there... Oh, I can just go up here instead. <laughs> uh, won't click, okay. Okay, so I'll tell you what I should do instead. Go in here... C drive, Aubrey... Oh, okay, yeah, I, I see what I did. SNES games or emulator games. Right there, there... Okay, there we go. Sorry about the delay, folks. Let's get started, huh? I've got yeah. Ben and Mikey joining me. Hello. Hello, Mikey. Here we go, Jeopardy round. Yeah, one daily double up there somewhere in one of these categories. We have firsts, medicine, the 1950s, for the kids, sports trivia, and finally, three syllable words. I think I'd like to start things off with firsts for a hundred. The answer is... The Sumerians, not Fred Flintstone, got this rolling around 3500 BC. What is the wheel? I'll take first for 200. The answer is... Appropriately named comic strip, which was the first to appear in a newspaper in color. What is the yellow kid? First for 300. The answer is... The first trans-U.S. highway was completed from New York to here. What is San Francisco? Oh, yeah. We'll go with first for 400. The answer is... First president to be inaugurated in Washington, D.C. And take a guess and say who was Thomas Jefferson. Yep. And I'm right. First for 500. The answer is... Dan Golan Paul founded both this first radio quiz show and an almanac of the same name. What is information, please? Information. Indeed. The quiz show came around in 1938. Yep. Ran the category. For the kids, 100. The answer is... Number in common to blind mice, bags of wool, and men in a tub. What is three? For the kids, for 200. The answer is... He was the sleeping sheep and cow herder. Who is Little Boy Blue? For the kids, 300. The answer is... Show which features Alistair Cookie's Monster Piece Theater. What is Sesame Street? For the kids for 400. The answer is... Jenna and Mark have replaced this classic reading primer pair. Uh, who are Dick and Jane? For the kids, 500. The answer is... This fairy tale cat could fill JR's shoes. Who is Puss in Boots? And that'll be two categories I've ran. Oh. 
All right, let's go with uh, medicine for a hundred. The answer is fear. It's a some symptom of tetanus. It's become another name for it. What is lockjaw? Medicine two hundred. The answer is great physician who coined chronic relapse and convalus. I think I know. So let's who is Hippocrates. Yep. Medicine 300. Daily Double. I'll do a true Daily Double. Anti-malarial drug present in tonic water. What is quinine? Hola! Medicine 400. This Italian drew the first accurate drawings of the human anatomy in the late 1440s. Who is Leonardo da Vinci? Yep. Medicine for 500. The answer is... Term for the scientific study of disease developed during the 1800s. What is pathology? Ran that category. I'll take the 1950s for 100. The answer is... A reproduction of this famous ship sailed from Plymouth, England to Massachusetts in 1957. What is the Mayflower? The 1950s for 200. The answer is... Testifying before a Senate committee in 1957, Teamster President Dave Beck invoked this some 80 times. Uh, what is the Constitution? No, I bet it's the Bill of Rights. Rob. No, the Fifth Amendment. Ah. Uh. Oh, well. Which Mikey invokes more than that. <laughs> in April 1955, for the first time in 33 years of publication, Reader's Digest carried these. What are advertisements? And at least, Mikey, you had the guts to admit it. The 1950s for 400. The answer is... Occupation of William Howard Mays that put him in the news. What is a baseball player? Better known to us as Willie Mays. Oh, yeah. The 1950s for 500. The answer is... This industrialist sold RKO pictures to General Tire in July 1955. Who is Howard Hughes? I didn't run this category exactly. I got one clue wrong, but you know what? Getting four clues right out of five is something. Yeah, that's not the awesome. It is. This is for you, Mikey. Sports Trivia 100. The answer is... At age 21, Dwight Philly Davis donated this sports famous cup. What is tennis? Sports Trivia 200. The answer is... Sport whose front line can be abbreviated L-E, L-T, L-G, C, R-G, R-T, R-E. Let's say what is football. Yeah, because that's uh, their soccer. Yep. Uh-huh. Sports Trivia 300. The answer is... This paper celebrated its 100th anniversary on March 11th, 1986. What is the sporting news? Yeah. Holla! Sports Trivia 400. The answer is... Soichi Nakajima did it from Korea to Japan and plans to try it from Hawaii to San Francisco. Ah, Sue locked me out. What is... what is Ro? 
Close. Windsurf. Windsurf. Oh, okay. I will say this though, Mikey. You were close. You were close, so that's all right. Three syllable words, 100. The answer is... Alaskan city that lost a bid for the 1994 Winter Olympics. What is Anchorage? We'll go with a three letter, three syllable words rather for 200. The answer is... The two colors in a rainbow that have three syllables are indigo and this one. What is violet? Three syllable words, 300. The answer is... Wool wax is another name for the sheep grease. What is lanolin? Oh, get rid of that extra end there. There we go. Three syllable words, 400. The answer is... To pound, crush, or grind into a powder. What is pulverize? That's going to put me over $10,000. Wow. Indeed. And I haven't played Jeopardy on the SNES in a while. Three syllable words, 500. The answer is... The first three syllable word in the Star Spangled Banner. Ah, oh, Rob locked me out. it. And it's perilous. I knew that. You son of a biscuit! Last clue before we go to Double Jeopardy. The answer is... When Bernard Langer won this April tourney, he became Germany's most famous golfer since Herman Tissy's suit. It is the Masters. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, Sue has $900, Rob has $700, and I have the lead with $10,200. <laughs> Not a bad first double Jeopardy. Not a bad first uh, Jeopardy round. Let's play double Jeopardy. Here we go. We have these as our six categories. Numbers in song. American authors. Early America. Chocolate. Police work. And finally... Historic names, and there are two daily doubles up there for this round. So here we go. Rob, you're in last place. We'll start with you. Numbers in song 200. The answer is... According to Bobby V, the knight has this many eyes. What is a thousand? Could I take numbers in song for 400? The answer is... She was just this, you know what I mean, and the way she looked was way beyond compare. What is 17? Numbers in song 600. The answer is... You came out of a dream, peaches and cream, lips like strawberry wine. You're this age. What is 16? Uh-huh. Numbers in song for 8? The answer is... According to Jane McDaniels, the first woman wasn't made of Adam's rib, but this much clay. Ah! Rob locked me out. Dead come it! A hundred pounds, and I knew that! And he takes second place, but he's nowhere close to me right now, so that's okay. Chocolate, 200. The answer is... American Caramel King, who, Caramel King, who became a chocolate czar. Who is Hershey? Chocolate, 400. The answer is... All cacao beans are grown in the cocoa belt, 20 degrees north and south of this. What is the equator? Chocolate, 600. The answer is... Five cups of zucchini, or one bonbon, has 75 of these. What are calories? I'll go with the $800 clue in chocolate. The answer is... Cadbury was the first to use these to stop complaints about candy being squished. 
What are plastic eggs? Oh yeah, the name is Plastic Egg. Yep, sir. No, I bet it's cardboard boxes. Dead gummit. Oh, is it gonna be wrapper? I think it's cardboard boxes. Oh, just boxes. Okay. Oh, they still can't even be it. Well, I said uh, plastic eggs instead of boxes, but that's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, American okay. Authors 200. The answer is. It's okay. New York dentist whose writers of the Purple Sage made him a popular Western novelist. Who is Louis L'Amour? What? Zane Gray, oh. Oh well. Early Americans 200. The answer is... He felt his greatest work was his revision of the Bible, not his speller or dictionary. Who is Noah Webster? Early Americans 400, please. The answer is... Widow of Daniel Custis, she burned all but two letters from her famous second husband. Who is... Let's see who's Martha Washington. Alright. Early Americans for 600. The answer is... He served as president of the Continental Congress and as the first Chief Justice of the United States. Ah! Sue locked me out. John Jay, and I knew it. Sue walked to you is darn you. American Authors 400. One of the two Daily Doubles. But she's nowhere close to me right now, and here she goes for a true Daily Double. Punning author of Lightverse who wrote Cats Have Kittens, Bats Have Bittens, and it's Ogden Nash. Historic Names 200. Oh, she got the other Daily Double! Nice. And she's going 1400 on this clue. In 1872, the first mail order catalog was issued by this company, by this man's company, not Sears, and she doesn't know... Name. It's Aaron Montgomery Ward. Oh, yeah. Montgomery Ward. No more Daily Doubles up there. Um, early Americans 800. The answer is... He graduated from Yale at 18, became a captain at 20, and was hanged at age 21 in 1776. Who is Nathan Hale? Early Americans for 1,000. The answer is... The, or the original gerrymandered district was named for Elbridge Jerry when he was governor of this state. What is Massachusetts? All right. Uh, number said song 1000. The answer is... It's the girl-boy ratio in Surf City. What is two to one? I am taking this game to the bank. Let's go back to uh, chocolate for a thousand. The answer is... Chocolate was a medicine for dysentery to these Mexican-American... Mexican Indians, excuse me. Who are the Aztecs? Yep. Let's take the $600 clue in American Authors. The answer is... Tom Wolfe wrote the electric Kool-Aid acid test about this lifestyle, the lifestyle of this cuckoo's nest author. Who was Ken Kesey? Gotta be. All right, American authors for 800. The answer is. In scoundrel time, she chronicled the battle with McCarthyism of her lover, Dashiell Hammett, who is Lillian Hellman.
American Authors for a Thousand. The answer is... The film A Place in the Sun was based on his novel An American Tragedy. I'm trying to remember who wrote American Tragedy. Uh, gosh. What's his name? An American Tragedy. Who wrote it? Uh, oh, oh, oh. It came back to me. Who is Theodore Dreiser? It just came to me. Uh, it's right 400. The answer is... Illinois Senator who held Lincoln's hat during his first inaugural address in Washington. Sue. Stephen Douglas. Huh? She takes second place now. Eight clues left. Police work, 200. The answer is... Job held by the Beatles' lovely Rita. What is a meter made? I know Mikey would want to flirt with a meter maid just so he wouldn't have to pay for a parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> Police work for 400. The answer is... Interpol is headquartered in this capital city. What is Paris? And what'd you say, Mikey? You might get away with it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you admitted it. Uh. Okay, police work for 600. The answer is... In Old England, he was Reeve of the Shire. Today, he is this. Ah, Rob locked me out. Dead gun it. Sheriff. Historic name 600. The answer is... In 1946, this little flower served as Director General of the UN Relief and Rehab Administration. Oh, Fiorello LaGuardia. Fiorello, Fiorello LaGuardia. Alright. Police work 800. The answer is... What SWAT stands for? What SWAT stands for? Ah! Rob, I knew it! Special Weapons and Tactics. I knew it. Now he takes second place. Next clue. Police work 1000. The answer is... It's a dog's life in this branch of the police force. Sue, I knew the answer! The Canine Corps. Yep. Stork names 800. The answer is... Called the Sam Adams of Virginia, he took a fatal dose of mercury in 1799 trying to cure a severe ailment. Rob. Patrick Henry. Last clue. The answer is... While an Ohio congressman, he was elected both senator and president in 1880. Oh, I have a hunch. James Garfield. Okay, I was thinking Grover Cleveland for some reason. Sue has $5,000. Rob, $4,500. And I have $19,000. Cannot be caught. Final Jeopardy category is transportation. I'll wager $6,000. The Robert E. Lee and Natchez ran a famous steamboat race from the Gulf of Mexico to this city. Okay. I'm going to take a guess. I was going to say Los Angeles, but I'm going to change my mind. New Orleans, no. I'm gonna change my mind again. Say what's St. Louis. I was gonna say Los Angeles, then I was gonna say New Orleans, and then I finally decided on St. Louis. Let's see if I was right.
Final Jeopardy answer is... Are any of my hunches right? It's a good thing I went with St. Louis! My third guess was right. Did Rob get St. Louis? He did. He doubles his money to $9,000. Sue, did you come up with St. Louis? You did. You go to 8000 I also said St. Louis, and I win the game with $25,000! Alright! See you all for the next video, everybody!